Beautiful. We live? We're good. All right, Wiseman Show, we're back. We Ladies got... and gentlemen, we got Busy Bone with the legendary Bone Thugs in Harmony on the Wiseman Show. Along with his son, Lil Busy. That's right. Yes, That's indeed. Right. Yes, indeed. What's good? What's good? What's good? New We're champ. So what? Twenty <laughs> wise men pod, podcast. It's 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 beautiful. You yes, know what I mean. Sir. I appreciate you guys for having us. Absolutely. Um, I love Red Lake, man. Um, Red Lake, love me y'all. too, man. It's it's beautiful. You know, this is my first time actually being out in Minnesota. Period. So it was definitely great energy. Beautiful people. You know, I love it. <laughs> yeah, this has been beautiful. It's our first time out in Red Lake, so this has been amazing. Oh, yeah. I love it out here. Indeed, you just your first time. Sir. First time out in Red Lake. Yep. So, yep. We so. record out in, out in the cities about four hours from here, so. Uh, what, Minneapolis? We're actually in uh, a city called St. Francis. St. Francis. So it's actually like 30 miles outside of Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So busy. What, 25 years in the game? Uh, 24, 25? Uh, let me see. We put out the first record in 91, 92. So 26. We're, we're That's 26 years. Working on 30. You getting tired of it yet? It don't look like it. I love music. I love music. Yeah, it don't look I like it. I take breaks when I need to so I don't get tired of it. I try to stay on my business so I don't feel like I'm getting robbed or nothing like that. You know, mm-hmm. um, I'm always, you know, up against the system if I see things going wrong. When I see the, 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 the system changing and artists getting more, it's just like NFL. When, 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 the, um, when the salary caps go up, mm-hmm. I want to be up, um, in front of the learning curve. I want to be in, you know, at the top of the heap, you know. <laughs> So I pay attention to stuff like that Absolutely. just to make sure, you know, because the future is, you know, com- comfort and stability and stuff like that. But, yeah, I, I don't get tired of the business. I get tired of the business. But I don't get tired of the uh, the, the music because I'm a musician. Yeah. I ain't do it for no come up. I did it because I love music. That's just like, dope. Just like my junior. That's dope. You. What's that like? Huh? What's that like? Having your son follow in your footsteps? Right it's get stage. out the way. Move. Pops, get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. It's, um, it's just staying out of his way uh, and letting him do what he does and let him grow and become what he wants to become and, you know, not leaning over him and on everything that he does. I have really yet to give him, you know, all the pointers that I want to give him. I want him to flourish, you know, do what he does. And then when it's time and he's, you know, in, in a comfort zone, then I'm going to say, okay, this is what I've learned and this is what I know, you yeah. know, so, and then teaching that then, so just to add to his arsenal because he's his own, you know what I yeah, mean? Absolutely. So, yeah, absolutely. it's just a wonderful thing, you know, plus, you know, relishing it, you know, at times because of everyone course. comes back at me, your son, oh, he's great, ah, oh, he's great. He is great. I pay attention, bro. Indeed, yeah. indeed, yeah. so. Appreciate it. This Appreciate man, it. this man can rap. His, <laughs> his work ethic is, is wonderful as well, so, you know, it's, it's just a pleasure to watch. You know, I got all these record companies calling me. Yo, what's going on with your son? <laughs> He's chilling. How much you got? <laughs> call him. It ain't no M's. I don't call me. Don't call me. So do you, do you manage him, kind of, or does he no, have his own his manager? Father. I don't. Um, I, I give him advice and, okay. and tell him what way to go and try to watch out for him and let him make his um, decisions and let him do his own thing. You know, uh, I'm not on no Joe Jackson type shit. Right, okay. You know what I mean? It's just let him do what he do. If I see something going on, hey, you all right? All right, just making sure. Call him back. You know. From the other from the other end of things, how how is it for you? Um, it's beautiful. Um, and this is actually my first time performing with my dad. Okay. So like, oh, for real? Yeah, definitely, man. It's, We're it's, honored, it's, man. It's beautiful. That's yeah, dope. yeah. It's an honor, man. First of all, man, because ever since I was a kid, you know, I just watched my dad do his thing. You know what I mean? When I was little, me and my brothers and sisters, we see my dad on TV, like, oh, that's dad. You mm-hmm. know, he going in. You know what I mean? And it was just like. Like, man, I want to get there one day. I want to be higher. That's you cool. know what I mean? Absolutely. It's kind of cool. You got your own lane, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you didn't, you know, like a lot of people would maybe assume that you would maybe follow his style and everything. But you you kind of have a little bit. You know what I mean? You pay yeah. homage, but you have your own style, which is dope. That's what I like. The whole industry is, this, is, 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 is a step ahead. That's one thing not to, right. not to interject, but... It feels good to know that you did something for hip hop that changed. Heck yeah, you brought the harmony. Yes, that scat rap. Brought that. Everybody's doing it. Everybody. 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 Really started after Bone Thugs and Harmony. There's a couple of predecessors with us. Twister, 
a uh, crucial conflict, yep, mm-hmm. yep. a freestyle fellowship in Los Angeles. It was a few that was on it, but everybody that came after it has. So that's the face of music. You, but yeah, he's, he definitely has his own thing, his own style. I got so many great ideas for him for later. But you want you want your kids to do better than heck you. Yeah, it's yeah. just like when America was being built or any other country was being built. Like when when pyramids were being raised and statues. You want it. You want the next generation to be better than you. So yeah, my boy's on the right track. He knows exactly what what was supposed to happen. That's very dope. So yes. so anybody that knows us locally knows that we're giant Tupac fans. Oh hell yeah. Did you actually, <laughs> did you have the opportunity to actually work with Tupac in the studio when you guys yeah, did Thug yeah, Love? Yeah, he's an amazing dude. He was an amazing, amazing man. Full mm-hmm. of energy, a ball of fire, just, um, you could tell something was going to happen. Yeah, for sure. He just had this element around him. Yeah. He, when, he, when, I, when I seen him, he had the outlaws around him. Now, mm-hmm. that was his crew. Right. But I was calling down to death row and Suge and the rest of them, you know, just tracking him down. Like, look, we got to get him on this record. We got to get him on this record. We got to get him on this record. It was amazing because it was just his and my song at first. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah, it was just oh. him and me, him, myself, and a young lady by the name of Silky Fine who knew Ruthless and who knew Death Row. And she was the liaison that brought everything together. Wow. So, um, but, you know, had to make a business move and had to make it a Bone Thugs in Harmony and Tupac song. It's business. You know, what's right for the brand. Because, you know, whatever I do, I'm going to always be a group member. I'll never be a solo artist. I'll right. always, whatever I do, it reflects on my band. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, yeah, definitely. But I met him. I was in the studio with him. Um, he came in, uh, outlaw style. Every, everything, everything you would expect. <laughs> everything you would. But fastest, fastest um, writer I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Literally ten minutes. As soon as he heard the beat. Literally. Just, and he didn't stop till he was done. It's not the first time I heard that either. That's cool. Yeah. So he was writing just like this. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> what are you doing? Is he bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> he got in there and he did it and he did the rap even faster. One take, two takes, three Serious. takes, and he was done. Wow. It was amazing. He changed my whole work ethic. He really? Made, yeah, he made me he made me really um stop critiquing stuff so right, much. Right, 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 right. You know, that's cool um, I think a lot of people should uh, pay attention to yeah, that yeah that's how I started putting out <clears throat> thousands and thousands and thousands of songs after that like I really started getting my work on and just locked myself in the studio and just started working it was just one of my missions But so um, you yeah. learned you learned from Pac then Heaven right away I learned a lot from Pac nothing on the stage but just work ethic yeah. work ethic I picked that up from him mm-hmm. like do your music let the engineer fix the kinks yep and go forward yep. you know what I mean but yep. you know definitely that's beautiful. So, so you you and you and Crazy just dropped a project. Yes, yes. Yep, new waves, yep, new yep. waves. And this yeah. is the first. This is the first one that's just you and him, correct? You guys have yes, never done this the, before. Yeah, this is the first one that's just him and me. You know what I mean? We're mostly a touring band. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I had a cool plan for everything, um, but I look at it now as if, if it's something for the legacy. Bone still does songs on stage from twenty years ago, mm-hmm. and people love it. So it's everlasting music. So I look at it as a classic. And, you know, to, you know, just for the legacy, you know, when the people go back and they look at, everyone's still amazed that we're alive. Right, right. Everyone's still amazed that we're coherent. <laughs> right. Everyone's still amazed that we look relatively young. That's all. They just want to hear that same old stuff. You see, they're still crazy about what we're yeah, Absolutely. You know, it's 12-year-olds. I still know them lyrics like old, crazy, oh, too. Crazy, man. It's even this 20-year-old music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is literally 25-year-old music. Still relevant, though. As yeah, relevant yeah, as ever. Yeah, it's just yeah. good. It's good music uh, in front of the learning curve. So, Eternal. yeah, we just... Yes, sir. And yeah. we just put together this. Eternal. Yes. Facts. We just put together new waves and every track on there is a single. So um, it just, yeah, that, that's what we did. Um, just like uh, we put out the Art of War 3 and put out a few different other projects as well. You know, so it's, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful thing. I want to bring it back from when Easy introduced himself to you, when mm-hmm. he called you. Tell me a little bit about when, when you got the news from Easy. Uh, well, we went to track Easy E down. Yeah. Oh, you tracked him down? Yeah, yeah. We were uh, in Los Angeles first, and he called us. And um, the person we was with uh, locked their phone in the room on some evil shit <laughs> when they heard he was going to call us back, and then he was going to come pick us up, and we wouldn't have had to travel back to uh, Cleveland to to uh, to go meet him. Um, so anyway, so we had to get past those demons or whatnot, and met him down. Uh, there's a guy by the... Have you ever heard of Levert? It's old school. Old school R and B act from Cleveland. Gerald Levert. Yeah, yeah, Gerald. Gerald. yeah. Oh, of yeah. course. The OJ's. If you've ever heard mm-hmm. of him, Isley Brothers. Blah, 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 that yep. genre. Mm-hmm. Um, so 
that we went to their club and that's where we met Eazy E. He asked us to come back. Well, we snuck backstage. He was like, "We the guys that called me. You guys that called me. Hey, man." He was like, "Y'all rapping." Lazy Bones said a cool rap, and he was like, "I know who y'all are." He let us back there, and the rest is history. Wow. Um, yeah, because he he was like, "I was calling y'all. I was calling y'all." I'm looking at Cray, and Cray looking at me. I'm like, "I knew he was calling." You know, and you know, it's <laughs> evil as hell. Right. It's straight evil. You know. That is crazy. Right. Yeah, it's all good. All good. Yeah. But anything, things happen anything, for a reason. Take, but it was a little struggle to add to the story. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's how it happened. Was it, it fun to work with him? Oh, man, it was real fun. He was yeah. like, oh, gee, we were all young, and he was letting us smoke weed and drink and shit. Of course. <laughs> it was the greatest time of my life. Right, right, <laughs> right. The greatest time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, but then when he passed, it kind of messed us all up. Oh, you of know, course. Because we didn't know what was going on. Of we course. It was like, okay, he robbing us on some Jerry Heller stuff. Right. We didn't know he was tripping out. You know what I'm saying? I had to send my, my babies back home. This was before Junior was born. Um, and... You know, we was out there wondering and when I went back home and I found out that he had died, it was crazy. So we had to wait like two years before we seen another dime. So we was on ice while uh, Creeping on the Come Up was out. Why mm-hmm. Turner was, was uh, I think Eternal was out too at that time. We was sitting on ice and it was terrible. It was what like, made you guys keep going? Because we knew that we knew that once they got finished fighting over his money, we was owed a lot of paper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, we the ones holding this up now. We, yeah. we, I'm just gonna sit on back. I ain't gonna say nothing. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, we knew. You know, we understood. It was like lots of people on the streets that halfway knew the industry. There's a little scene in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. It's a music scene in Cleveland. Oh, yeah, we, for sure. We had a couple of artists out there that took off with um, uh, some of the members of New Edition, guy by the name of MC Brain. Mm-hmm. So he helped us out. Like, just chill out. You're gonna get some money. Da, 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 da. You know, because all contracts were my. I didn't have no contract because I signed under age, so I was oh, I was getting one hundred percent of everything, publishing, writers, everything. You know, um, but yeah, so yeah, that's what happened. It was just when he died, it was so quick and so tragic, right. it shocked us all. We didn't know. We thought he was actually trying to steal from us and take our money and run. So we thought, wow. That's amazing. Crazy, right? That Absolutely crazy. crazy. That is crazy. So I got, I've always had, a, I've always wondered, I've never Googled because I don't trust Google, but now I get a chance to ask you to your face. How did you come up with the name Bone Thugs and Harmony? We was toying around with a gang of names. Bone Enterprise is something that Lazy seen on his way. He was coming back home from jail um, in Dallas, Texas. Uh, he had to go down there and do some time or whatever for some stuff he had done. Um, and just a kid, kid mm-hmm. stuff. Um, 16 yep. um, so he was driving back and he seen something that said Bone Enterprise and he wanted he, he thought he was like this is the group I'm going to start Lazy was always a businessman briefcase visionary 17 years old the man had a briefcase Wow. Full of raps and you no know, money. Full <laughs> <laughs> no credit card. Full of raps. It was a whole bunch of raps. And then we looked at perfection. I was a real perfection. He was definitely a visionary. He was one of the, um, he helped cultivate us as a group. He was the go to guy, you know, um, a lot of heart. Um, old beyond his years. And so, anyway, Bone Enterprise was, of course, patented. We didn't know nothing about that. You you know, you got to patent your name and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Or copyright, excuse me. Right, right, because right. it was something that he seen on the building. So we just kept the bone. And we all wanted something to interconnect us and something with our personalities. Crazy, quiet, silent type dude. But when he writes stuff, he's insane. Lazy as a southern draw. So I was wishbone at first. Then it turned into busy bone uh, because my mind was like, well, you can't name me wishbone. Some, me something different. We need something different for you. Uh, so that's how it happened. And it just... That all started manifesting, and then we called our style "We're Thugs and Harmony." We used to be like, "Yeah, we're our, we're bone, period," but we're thugs and harmony. That's our was our like introduction. Hi, we're a bone. Mm-hmm. In order to explain our style, we are thugs and harmony. Because every time I was like, "What is this Chinese shit?" <laughs> these guys are saying, like, "What is that?" I'm telling you, we got booed out of so many places with some really? of the biggest hits that we had on track. Seriously? Well, yeah, but I, you had to. You I, kicked. I, you I, had to kick down the door first. I mean, I'm. I, I kid you not. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's how it came to be. And Easy was like, you know what? Y'all should say Bone Thugs in Harmony. And he put it together and he did all the drawing for it. He put the skulls on and all that stuff. You know, he was always into the mystics and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So he helped us a lot. He really, really did. Helped us see how to turn it into a brand. He was smart. A lot of people didn't know that. He was really smart. Easy? Yeah. He was, oh, yeah, he was yeah, really, yeah. really, really smart. He wasn't all super duper street like that. Mm-hmm. You know, he just wasn't no street dude all like that. Not when we met him. He was street. 
kept a bazooka in the car. You know, like, <laughs> of course he did. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's crazy out there like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's real crazy. Oh, yeah. The bazooka yep. It's like okay. real crazy. Yeah. 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 Especially around that time too. Oh my gosh. It's a whole different era. Oh my goodness, man. It's it's crazy like that now in Chirac and, and a couple Ooh, other places now mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. It was so wild in Los Angeles a long time ago. You're going to the wrong place and it's really pretty out there. Like palm trees everywhere, mm-hmm. ocean everywhere, yeah. sunset everywhere. You could be like in the most nicest looking neighborhood and get yourself hurt for having on some red shoes. Yeah. Shoes. Right, yeah. right. Or blue. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we looked goofy. Oh yeah. So <laughs> one had on one had on a Michigan jacket, the other had on a Ohio State jacket. It was red, green, blue, purple. We was every game, but not oh, the same. No. It was crazy. So they was like, "Y'all are all kind of wrong." Walking down the street. <laughs> 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 piece of wrong. I mean, this book. But yeah, yeah, he um definitely, definitely visionary, and he's the one to help cultivate the name. Okay. Yeah. Very dope. Very dope. You were gonna say something? Go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say. <laughs> Damn, I'm high off life right now. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say like, it's just beautiful, man. The way that everything just been set up, man. Cause I mean, you know, I'm truly, be- you know, blessed by the best. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like me just watching my dad all my life, man. Like and studying his work, like. I'm like, I want to be just like that. That's dope, though. You know what That's I mean? That's what a son should want to be, just man. Like and his it's dad. just like, and then like. Back in Cleveland, you know, when I stayed in Cleveland with my mom and everything, mm-hmm. and my dad was on tour doing his thing, mm-hmm. you know, people always say, nigga, your daddy a legend. You know what I mean? Your daddy's a legend out here. And that just really, like, inspired me, like, just kept inspiring me, like, oh, mm-hmm. I'm trying to be a legend one day. You know what I mean? But yeah. I, I just I just love, like, you know, doing this with You think you're on your way to being dad. a legend? <clears throat> of course. Every day. What are you working on? What, you working on music now? Oh, uh, yes. Um, I have my... um. EP Son of a Legend already out right now. Okay. Um, I have a new P. Uh, fuck that. Um, a new EP coming out as well called Manifest. And my band Bloodline Harmony, we got some stuff out as well called Stig, which is so thrown in the game. Okay. Um, we recently dropped the EP called Stig Bloodline Harmony Part One, and it's on iTunes right now. So okay. you can go and grab Dope. that. I'm go you check know that what out. I mean? It is. There. It's definitely beautiful. My mind is going right now. <laughs> Very dope. <laughs> but it's definitely beautiful, man. Um, I, I want to collab with Nate Dog's son. Oh, I know man. He oh, yeah. Too. Actually, I met him in California. Really? Yeah. I was out there with uh with He's my band. too. Yeah, and my aunt. And uh, we was at this, uh, I think, this video shoot, that duct tape game, which mm-hmm. is uh, Bones. Flesh's yeah, yeah. Flesh's yep, yep. Okay. Um, artist. So um, Nate Dog's son was there, and he was like, and he lightweight looked at for me, or I was like, man, you look like somebody. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was like, yeah, I'm Nate Dog's son. I'm like, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm the son of Busy Bone, a little busy. You know what I mean? He was like, oh, yeah, for sure. So he started freestyling. We started, you know, me and my band, we all started freestyling. <clears throat> Duct Tag Gang was freestyling with us and everything. So it was just definitely good vibes. Um, I got his contact, but I ain't never hit him. You know right. what I mean? Or he ain't never hit me. But I told him, like, I'm, we going to meet one day. We going to make a hit one day. You know what I mean? Just keep the faith. You know That'd what I mean? Dope. And that's the whole thing with me, faith. You know what I mean? Right. Like everything I do is off of faith. You know, because I'm a I'm a man of faith. I'm a child of God. So everything I do is just off of off of him, off of his word, off of his doing, off of his time. You know, so that's what I'm about. I'm about positive energy. My band, you know, my dad and his band, we all about positive energy. You know, it's too much stuff going on anyway. We all got new music out, more new music coming. So just be ready. You know what I mean? It's going down. It's big lit. We're going to be watching. We're paying attention. Oh, yeah, yes, we're indeed. definitely paying attention. Everything. I fuck with it, man. We appreciate you guys. Definitely. This is yes. beautiful. Two hey, times. you know what? Real quick, before we go, though, I got cool. into one thing. Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. Is he holding the torch right now for Cleveland? I don't know. Um, I think that Cleveland needs a solo artist to come up out of there. We've had three. MC Brains was the first one. MGK and Kid Cudi. Mm-hmm. So... It's it's right now I see MGK and Kid Cudi leading the charge. Mm-hmm. Kid Cudi more on the intellectual, um, and and uh, MGK more on the um, the hyphy. Yeah, more, yeah, yeah. More, uh, more turned up Cleveland side. The turned up side of yeah. Cleveland. Those two, I see those two, and plus they're you know the Clevelandites. So yeah. good hands. You think it's in good hands? Cleveland's in good hands right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think Cleveland's in great hands right now. Um, I think music in general is in great hands right now. I even like the new rap that's coming in from the youngsters, you know. You like like Lil Yachty in them? I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. 
I, by me being an artist, I can't really listen too much to their stuff. Sure. So I don't take nothing from their stuff. Yeah. And either make it better or make it worse. Right. You know what I mean? But as you get older, you notice like you got to watch saying, oh, that shit's whack. Um, uh, my my generation was, and that's how you kind of get old and rusty and mm-hmm. noted. And exactly. you stay in front of the learning curve. You know what I mean? I grew up on the Motown stuff. I grew up when, when my parents used to say, that rap shit ain't going to go nowhere. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's the, probably the highest selling music now. I think it is. I think right they like, officially called right, it that. Right. And so you got to watch these kids do their thing. Yeah. You know, and you got to let them do their thing. That's why, you know, I'm so happy my son is doing what he's doing because, you know, he adds something to the game. I think he's going to elevate them to another level as well. I see I see him and I see his his band, you know, uh, bringing music to another level for Little Yachty, for the Migos and different things of that nature. I never want to cut the lifeline, you know, because we, we're holding a torch up as well for each other. So if I don't like somebody, then immediately my son might not dig them. And I want him to have every single opportunity hmm. in this world That's you know, good. to do whatever it is that yeah. he needs to do. So I stay very, very opinionated on good energy and good energy alone. You know, as long as it's good stuff, as long as they're making money and they're happy, that's what it's all about. Feed it's your good kids. Way to look at yeah, it. yeah. Put your brothers on. Put your homeboys on. Put some money in your pocket. To me, that's success right. more so than me critiquing everything that they say. Right. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It's so easy to you know. It's so easy to uh, say I don't like that, or it's so easy to. Because, you know, we, you know, as human beings, we eat positivity and negativity for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's our, and it affects you, too. It's our privilege. It's yeah. our, our right to do that. If we play the game right, you know, we won't be affected. You know what I mean? If we don't go too far. Because if you love too hard, you're going to get yourself hurt. If you hate too hard, you're going to get yourself hurt. But if, if you understand that it's your right to do what you want to do, you know what I mean? Just, you just got to know how to play it. You know what I mean? Don't let it affect you. But my buddy, he told me, he was like, too much hate, it'll eat you alive, BB. It'll eat you alive. I'm like, might as well say that about love, too. You know what I mean? Truth. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Very wise words from the legendary Busy Rock Bone. Roll, baby. On, the, on, the on the Wiseman Show. On the Wiseman Show, baby. Beautiful. Honorary oh, wise yes. man. Man, we appreciate you guys for coming. We appreciate you too. Especially yes. getting right off the stage and coming in here and doing this. Oh, that's love. Oh, for that's sure. Yeah, time. love, man. Love. Tell them your, tell them your social media. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. My social media, you can follow me on Twitter, Elevator Busy. You can follow me on Instagram, Elevator Busy. Facebook, Lil Busy. Also follow the band page, Bloodline Harmony. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It's all the same. So just make sure y'all follow that. And we're going to give y'all some great music and good vibes. Beautiful. And wait a minute. I got to get mine. Yeah, yes, please. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> please do. Um, Instagram, um, uh, at Mr. McCain, M-R-M-C-C-A-N-E. And Facebook, I am Busy Bone. Um, and also, um, as Junior said, follow all the Bone Thugs and Harmony pages. Crazy, Lazy, Wish, and Flesh. Uh, and it's a beautiful thing. Music on and on and on and on and on. We thank you guys here. We really do. Thank Wise you. Men Podcast. Yo, what's going on? This is Busy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony. And yes, you know what it is. It's your boy Lil Busy from Bloodline Harmony. And you are rocking with the Wise Men Podcast. Yeah. Hey, beautiful.